starting off with any black nail polish, I'm using Essie's Licorice. Depending on its thickness, you're going to apply on two to three coats on all of your nails except for your ring finger and your thumb. Because on these two fingers, we're only going to apply on one coat to make sure that our design doesn't end up getting too thick. After you've let your nails completely dry, you're going to need a white nail polish and a cosmetic sponge to create the smoke on our nails. So all you're going to do is just apply it onto the top half of both of your nails. Going back in with that same black nail polish, you are just going to paint the bottom half of both of your nails to create the witch's cauldron. Once you're done, your nails should look a little something like this. Then after that, you're going to need a lime green nail polish. I'm using Innocent by Sinful Colors. And using any nail art tool or a toothpick, you're going to start creating a line at the top of the black. This color is going to represent whatever is in the cauldron, so you can definitely change it up, but I thought that the lime green looked really good, so I just did that to both of my nails. After that, you want to grab any gray nail polish. I'm using China Glaze's Recycle, and using a toothpick, I'm just going to create some details on the cauldron to make it look more realistic. So I'm starting out by drawing two horizontal lines underneath the green one. I'm also creating a handle on the cauldron by creating a circle underneath the second line. So mine turned out like this. Now after that, I'm gonna grab a nail art pen and I got this one from Sally Hansen in the shade black. And we're gonna use this to outline the smoke on our nails. So I'm just creating little squiggles, about three on each nail, and then I'm going to shade in the background black. I definitely recommend using a nail art pen because it makes it so much easier to create the smoke. So after that, you're just going to need an orange and yellow nail polish to create the flames on your nail. So starting out with the orange, I'm going to create some flames on the tip of my ring finger. And then going in with the yellow, I'm just going to apply some on top to make it look more realistic and kind of detailed. So that is how that finger turned out. Once you've completed that, you can clean up your nails by dipping a Q-tip into nail polish remover and just cleaning up anywhere around the nail that you got nail polish. And last but not least, just grab your favorite top coat, mine is from OPI, and I'm just applying on a few coats to every single nail. That is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.